is DK and I'm back, back, back with another video. Put me on your big screen video. Guess what, baby? I told you guys before that we had to drop smoke off to get an oil change. We are now, right now, right now, currently, we are in the loner van. Y'all wait till y'all see this joint. <laughs> wait till y'all see this joint. But we do have two orders we about to do. Y'all know my folks say like the flu. The first order we're gonna do, we are in our own van. We have to go out there and get the van. But we have an order on Rody, Rody, Rody with a Dabber Ranch. We have a Rody order. Honestly, this is the highest paying Rody order that we've ever had. It's time for us to get to this bag. We are picking up one item, which is a snowblower. We are gonna drive three miles and receive a payment of $94 or some change. We're about to go out here and do our thing. Let's go. And just like that, we are here at Lowe's to go and get this dough. Hopefully this joint is not critical, we're gonna see. Hello, Hi. how you doing? Um, I have a roadie order to pick up. What info do you have? I'm gonna have the order number. One second, it's still loading. It's freezing out there and it's yeah. raining and it's so supposed to start snowing. Yeah. I don't even know what to do at this point. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, 92, 83, 17, 276. There you go, man. I'll bring it back in when I'm done. No, leave the strap on. No, you can leave it on. Got this joint on the pallet. <laughs> they definitely could have helped me. They got a pocket, but it's all good though, baby. We ain't complaining, we maintain it. About to get this change, equip this grain. We're switching lanes. A few moments later. Back in we go because they need to lift this joint over the pallet jack. It ain't gonna work this way. Um, I'm coming back because, um, do you guys have a, a, a fork lift? Because it's not gonna work with this because I can't lift the box up because the box is like pretty much attached to the pallet. Even with the strap off, it's still attached. Yeah, so I took, I took the strap off to try to lift the box separately from the pallet and the box is like, you can see it. Like when I lift it up, it's, it's gonna, the, um, the snowboard is gonna fall out of the box. So, is there anyone who uses the fork truck forklift here, or no? You have to pull that down all the way to the lumber and ask if they're willing to do it. And where is lumber at? Way at the other end, those doors. Oh, as down far there. Down there as you can go. How you doing, sir? Uh, I'm doing all right. Besides, just okay. Uh, okay, so yeah. Um, do you guys have anyone that drives a forklift here, a fork truck? Because I have, this is the delivery I have to drop off to a customer's house. And um, I can't put it in my van because it's like the, um, the pallet comes with the box. And then when I try to lift the box up, the whole snowboard starts falling out of the box. Mm -hmm. So I need someone with a fork truck to lift it. I just came from down there to bring it down here. So you can't take the box in the pallet is what you're saying? I, I can't take the box in the pallet, but... You um, so if I take the box off the pallet, no, 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 no. It's gonna... I mean going into your van, is the whole thing just gonna? Oh yeah, slide? just the whole the whole thing is gonna go in here. Oh, to the box vans? No, yeah, I got a sprinter van, so it's high enough and everything. It's on the other end. Uh, it's a no, it's a gray van. So yeah, let's go get it. We'll figure it out. Okay, all right, thank yeah. you. Okay, what I want to do is fit it on top of here, so when I get to the house, I can just roll it out. I have a, a dolly, I'm gonna strap it down and everything. So okay. You want it in further? No, this time right there. I just want to be here with us. Okay, go down on it slowly. Yeah? Huh? Yeah, I, I should be good right there. Let me see if this is going to work. Oh yeah, that'll work. You okay, good? so I'm, I'm gonna strap everything. I'm good with you guys. I'm gonna strap everything down and I'm good to go. Right, I really appreciate your help. You guys have a good one. Stay warm, cause hey, yeah. stay, stay warm. We got spoiled, man. Yeah. Okay, we figured it out, baby. We have a strap right here. We have a strap right here. So it's crisscross to make you jump. And then we have this. We got that pole, baby. We got that pole. I told you to keep them poles. We got that pole right here, baby. But it's time to hit the road. It's time for us to get our pockets on swole. Let's go.
And we are here at the drop off. I'm gonna knock on the front door first to see where they want us to put this joint. And we gonna get on point. We about to get on point, baby. It's big cars in the driveway, so hopefully, hopefully somebody here. So we can drop this joint off. If not, I'm leaving it at the, leaving it at the front door. They got a dog too. I don't want no problem with that dog. I don't want no problem. I don't want no problem. Hello. Hello, how you doing, sir? I'm here with your uh, Lowe's order. Okay. Your, uh, snow blower. Where exactly do you want me to sit it at? If you want to, can you back up in the driveway here? Just sit outside the front, the, uh, the garage, garage? door? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I'll, I'll meet you there. All right, all righty. Here we go. Here we go, baby. Let's see how it goes. And it's wet outside. Pause. Take my time. Just that easy, baby. Just that easy. <sighs> so exactly where, where would you like me to sit it, ma'am? Exactly Just right, right here? Yeah. Okay. Let's try. There it is. I have to take a photo and I'm good to go. Got it. Hit on with the photo. Got that. And I'm good to go. Thank you very much. You guys have a good one. Y'all see us, baby. We are in the rent, the loner, baby. We are in the loner. And no, I'm not a stoner. I'm not in here smoking no cuss. I'm not doing nothing. But we in the loner, baby. This is a 2013 Mercedes Sprinter van. Check it out. Uh, Y'all see the wood, baby. I don't know. Somebody broke this thing off. And they, that's, look, they broke this joint off. So, you know, we gotta do it how we gotta do it, baby. Check out the back. Y'all see the back? Y'all see what's going on back there? We got the dolly set up right there. It doesn't have the folk head. Honestly, driving this van, I'm gonna tell you guys the honest truth. Honestly, driving this van made me very appreciative of the van that I do have. Very grateful for the one I have. Honestly, let me tell you this though. It is extra loud. I ain't gonna lie. When you do 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 do, everything is just so much louder because it's echoing in here because we don't have the bulkhead. But I will say this joint drive decent though. Like when you're driving this joint, it does drive decent. It's just completely different. Like the steering, like it's not like ours. You can just you can whip it like a car. This one's like kind of harder. Like pause. You gotta like turn it a little bit hard like that. Um, the brakes is different too. Um, we don't have all the extra gadgets and gadgets and backup camera and all that sensors and all that stuff You just got to get it how you live in this joint. You got to get it how you live in this joint You got to use the mirrors and give it like that um, The outside don't look the greatest either, but look I'm grateful for them even having this van. We was let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. This is my fault This is my fault. This is my fault We did have an opportunity to get a Mercedes a Mercedes Benz Metris but we came to the conclusion, we like, what if we get a load that can't fit all them pallets in there? What if we get a load that has two or three pallets? I know for sure that we can't fit that much in the Metris, but I also did kind of want to do a car review on the Metris as well. Well, a van review on the Metris as well. So we may do that later on. I'm not sure. I might chop it up with them and they may say, hey, hey, matter of fact, y'all, comment below and let me know. Do y'all want us to do a van review on a Mercedes-Benz Metris? If you don't know what that is, go ahead and Google it. Um, give you idea. It's kind of a, it's a smaller version of the uh, Sprinter vans. It's like their cargo van version, pretty much like that. But all in all, this joint decent. We got the radio. The radio louder than ours too. The radio is louder. Um, the heat is different. It takes longer for everything to warm up because the heat got to travel through the whole entire thing. Um, and this joint don't work. We was almost on luck, Chuck. This joint right here don't work. But we got one right down here though. We got that joint down there. You know what I'm talking about to get right. Um, the cup holder is different. It's just a different, it's just, everything is different. Everything in this van is different, but I ain't complaining, I'm maintaining, I'm gonna keep on getting this changing, do our thing, it's time for us to switch lanes. We got order number two. Y'all know my flow sticking in the flow, I thought y'all knew. Now, we have our second highest pan delivered order that we ever had, it's time for us to get to this van. The pickup location is Bibby Bop Asian Grill. We gonna keep it real, we keep that still. The order cost is $3,750. And we're gonna drive 29.6 miles. We have 250 meals we're gonna pick up. That's what they say on this app. I don't know if it's really gonna be that when we get there, we're gonna see. But for this order, we will receive a payment of $316.05, enough money to pay the rent. We're riding around on bins again with no tent. Now, 
This does include another driver. His name is David. I think it may be the dude that I met out in Chicago when I had to do another delivery order. So hopefully it's him because he got his SUV and we went out there and get busy. Now it's time to go up and get this cheese. Let's go. Just like that, we are here at the pickup. It's time for us to run it up. They got this joint locked. This joint locked. Let me go to the other side. Oh, this joint locked. This joint lock locked. This joint lock locked. I see all the boxes. Everybody gonna come. Let me go to the side though. That's the exit only. Come on with it, baby. Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> Y'all got me locked out. How you doing? I'm gonna have an easy catering order to pick up. I'm guessing it's yeah, this one right here. The, um, the three traditional spreadsheets. The 100 yeah. and 175? Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm, you can check the number if you want to. It's a it's a pretty big order. Uh, can you give me what's that? What's your number? Uh, 1YMRFH. So it's all of this. Okay, where should I start? Is you can start by taking all the paper goods if you like. Oh, so um, all of these. This, all of this is together. Okay, all this together. Okay. And did then, the other? Is it, did another guy show up or not yet? No, not yet. Okay. <coughs> Y'all see what's going on, baby. Hopefully this guy shows up because guess what? Hey, I'm not moving nowhere. Hey, if, they, if he never shows up, I'm not moving nowhere until he sends it to my business partner phone. So we go out here and get it on. I ain't about to play no games. Let's do our thing. A few moments later. How you doing, boss David? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Up, I think man? I met you in Chicago, right? Yeah, we met. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. How you doing? I'm doing great. They supposed to unlock this door for me. We came in. We came. I already started loading some too. Yeah, I, I'll. Uh, I've yeah. been here before. He's, they're kind of slow. Yeah. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> Do you know how many boxes we have altogether? Um, I don't. I don't know. Maybe they know. Do you guys know how many boxes it is altogether? It's just these. Well, those two. So all of these two? 14, 15 boxes. Okay. So these good to go, right? Yeah, Y'all see it, baby. I know you see it. Oh, the guy did show up. I don't know if you guys saw it on the camera, but it's time for us to get busy. We ain't playing no game. This joint got a little weight to it, baby. This joint got a little weight to it. Thinking this right, baby. For the 300, I ain't complaining at all. <coughs> about to go out here and ball, not stall. I ain't gonna never do that, baby. I ain't gonna never do that. Yeah. I'm trying to put it as tight as possible, pause. So we get it right. Last thing, I think it's one more thing. I think he's gonna get it though. So I'm gonna put this right here. I'm gonna make sure I set everything down so we can't play around. <coughs> I ain't never been the clown. What's going on, boss? Hey, uh, just one more box. So okay. I'll wait for it. If you, uh, I'll meet you guys there then. Okay, that's fine. Whatever you want to do. Yeah, it's cool. All righty. And just like that, uh, I know you see. I know you see it. I know you see it. Y'all see it, baby. It's time for us to hit the road and get our pockets on swole. Let's go. Y'all see what's going on. We're here to drop off. Time to knock these socks off. Time to ball like hot sauce, baby. Time to ball like hot ciggity. I'm gonna have to come back another time, baby. I ain't even about to play. I don't want no problem. We're gonna take it like this. I'm gonna grab this. And we're gonna slide. I'll be back. I'll be back. Thank you very much, sir. How many more boxes do you have? Um, I think it's like four or five and a couple bags in there. Okay. Want me to grab the bags and... Oh, that's fine. I definitely appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. So everything is just going right here. Yeah, right here. Yeah, I got it. I got it with my foot. You can go ahead. They about to be good, ain't they? Yeah. Definitely. Hello. 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 Thank you. <laughs> take your time. If you want, you can take this dolly up. I have another one too. So if you, you got to go upstairs or anything. Okay, how about this? I'll put these small ones on the bottom and then you can just take the dolly. Hey, yeah. Uh, Cause this, this is probably gonna try to tip over on you guys. Okay, you guys can take that one. 
I'm gonna let them take my dolly so they don't have to undo it. Oh, okay. You can just go ahead. Okay. And I'll grab the other boxes and okay. I'll be right back. You're welcome. No, this is the last, the last two. Oh, okay. I'm Thank waiting you. for my dolly. I have to take a picture and I'm good to go. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Let's go back Okay, I'll go, I'll go with you. Alrighty, thank you guys. Have a good one. And just like that, it is the end. We went out there to get those dividends. Y'all saw us win. That joint was super sweet. Hey, I do orders like that all day long for Stone Cold 316. $316.05 to do that. I do that all day long. We they got it on. My nickname is Robert on the microphone. Now, just so you guys know, that first order we did, that snowblower, that was actually yesterday's video. So we did, but well, not just today's video, but that was yesterday. So we did that order right before we did our drop off route. And then today we had the deliver order. We went out there and get an order. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you're not subscribed, make sure you smash subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to throw them C's up. Throw them C's up if you're a part of the crew. You already know what to do, baby. I will see you guys on the next one. We go, we go, we fall. You already know it. It's DDK. And I'm on my way.